Connor remains a pretty positive environment here uh, due to the fact that in the regular season you guys always found a way to to come back no matter the circumstance yeah we definitely believe in there um, you know we think the process has been good and uh, you know, we believe in each other and we, we think we'll find a way, um, you know, having the next four or five at home uh, obviously is a bonus, but we're excited for tomorrow. Uh, has the you know setup of the series played into the minds at all of, of you guys, the fact that you got to play two on the road to begin with? Uh, no, not really, other than, you know, it, it keeps you motivated, obviously, like I said, four or five at home uh, coming up and you now it's a... Uh, that's in our favor, so we don't we don't feel out of it for sure, and you know we feel confident, and uh, it starts tomorrow with a good first period. How do you set up for the, these three days? You get the you know the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday here ahead of the game. That's pretty unusual in the playoffs. What, what do you guys end up doing for those three days? Yeah, well we had Sunday off, which was good, and uh, yesterday a good team skate, and you know a lot of video to go over, a lot of uh, power play penalty kill, and it's nice to have a rest. Obviously, going seven games last series. Uh, it's a long series, so I think a bunch needed rest. A lot of guys that have bumps and bruises are, are feeling better, and, and we'll be ready to go for tomorrow. Surprised there's not many uh, power play opportunities in this series so far. Uh, you know, I think, you know, I think there's a, it's a tight checking game, but I don't know if there's uh, too many missed calls. It's just, it's just uh, been good clean hockey, and you know, at the end of the day, you got to respond uh, five on five. So we got to win the five on five battle, and we got our power plays. We got to strike. Uh, I think our power play process has been good. Obviously, it hasn't dropped any, but uh, just stay with it. Have you been caught up in the Raptors at all? Yeah, actually, I have. Uh, I was watching last night. Obviously, uh, you know, pretty awesome uh, being down two there and coming back. Uh, you know, they, uh, a lot of resilience in that team. A little inspiration within MLSE from there. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, uh, you can take inspiration for anywhere you look. Obviously, right now it's the Raps, and they're down two, and they're coming back, and they believe. But you know, we we have confidence in our group here, and and uh, whether there's we can draw comparables to outside, we we really believe that we have the chance to come back. So we're excited for tomorrow. You mentioned the four out of five. Does that feel weird to you to be down two games to none and still have four home games left? Yeah, it's a little unusual. I think. Um, Obviously, just the way the series is set up, uh, but uh, you know we got to really own our home ice now that uh, we got that advantage, and and uh, you know really uh, played our strengths here and, and start small. How, how important do you think it is to go through, like you know, in your first big full season, uh, an overtime game in Game Seven, now in the third round, and, and and being down two games? Is it is it important to be able to go through those experiences in terms of your development as a player? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think uh, obviously, you know, OT games and, and close games really bring out the best in guys and really, uh, you know, see what you're made of. And uh, that was a tight game uh, last game, especially going into OT. I thought we had a lot of chances to finish it, and I thought we held the most of the play. Obviously, that's where overtime goes, right? One of the just one has to go in, and, and uh, they got that uh, that one. But you know, we feel good about it, and we feel confident, and, and just continue to build off it. You mentioned this kind of game two games. How much of an asset is that, just in terms of building a game plan and taking lessons away from games one two? Yeah, I think uh, I think there's lessons to take, but I also think there's a lot of uh, good things that uh, went on, especially in game two, um, that we can build off. So um, yeah, obviously uh, the gap's nice for uh, rest and recovery, and, and uh, obviously for things of that nature too. But they're also adjusting their game plan. It happens on uh, on both sides of the court, so. No, it's uh it's good but we're ready for tomorrow.